So welcome to Technodad Life, and my name is Jeff. And so today what we're gonna do is see how easy it is to change our WISE cameras to IP cameras using our server without changing actually any software on our WISE cam. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find a Docker image that we're going to use to host our WISE container, so then that translates it to an IP camera. So if we go to Docker Hub and look up mrlt8 and slash wise dash bridge, this is the Docker we want. You can see there's actually a couple other wise bridge ones here, but we want this mrtl one because it is actually the most updated. So if we click on that, brings us to a little brief information about it, but if we scroll down, you can see that almost all the wise cams are supported but the next thing we want to do is where it says the HTTPS GitHub, we're going to click on that. And so this page actually contains all the information that we need to do this. Again, there's the supported cameras. We're going to skip all that. And you can see here it says Portainer, Unraid, Home Assistance. Those are all included because they all are able to use Docker. And so any computer that can do Docker, as long as it's not a Windows machine, can actually use this container to make your WiseCam's IP cameras. So how it does it, you actually have to log into your account in the Docker container and somehow it intercepts the stream or gets the stream from Wise actually. And then it outputs the stream into RTMP, RTSP, or HLS. And so now we're gonna scroll back up and so where it says download here under this Docker Compose section here, now let's see, this area right there, number one, it says download. We're going to click on that. And that actually takes us to the Docker Compose file. And we're just going to copy all that. And then what we're going to do is go back to our server and open up Portainer for us. Click on Stacks. Well, actually, you can do first thing. So if you haven't already, you can download the image. And so then how you do that is you type in mrlt8 slash wise dash bridge and then click pull image. And so for me, I've already pulled the image, so it's down there already. So then we go to stacks and we're going to add a stack. We're going to call this wise2 because I have one already there. Paste our Docker compose. Scroll down into environmental variables. We just have to change two things for this to work. And so where email, you put in your email. And then uh, where it says password, this is your wise password. And then put that in, scroll down, and then click deploy stack. Mine will not deploy because I'm already using this container once already. So once that's deployed, click on containers, and then you can see there's our wise bridge. Then we can click on logs and make sure the container is running. And yes, it is. Now, if we go back to GitHub and look at the page here, in this section right here, it shows you the different streams and how to access them. And so the easiest way to access these is using something like op or not open Vault, uh, VLC. Uh, but once you have tested them out, uh, then you can actually use them in any sort of security program. So how you access the RTMP stream is actually, we're just going to copy this, paste that in, and then we have to change the host name to our server. And then under nickname, you have to type in the name, uh, whatever you name the camera in uh, the WISE app. And then just click open. And then here you can see this is the camera. And so now the really interesting part of this is your server doesn't have to be on the same network as the camera. So now we have access to the camera. And now the really cool thing about this is this camera is actually a couple miles away from where my server is now. Because it actually accesses the stream through the internet, 
uh, you can actually access your stream from anywhere. Your server can be anywhere and your cameras can be someplace completely different. And so like this camera is actually a couple of miles away from my office. It's at my house and uh, yeah, works fine. Now, one thing about doing this over the internet, so we have our three uh, standards here, RTMP, RTSP, HLS. There is a delay and let's just say it's not a small delay. So the delay for RTMP was about five seconds, for RTSP was about six seconds, and for HLS, it was maybe about seven seconds. So this is not going to give you instantaneous results, like you still have to use your WISE app for that, but it will, it's actually very good for recording a stream uh, that you can look through, scroll through later. Super easy to do this. So basically the one container, the only variables are your name and password. Cameras can be anywhere, server can be anywhere. Uh, then you just need to know the name of your uh, camera, which is in your WISE app. And then you just decide on what streaming you wanna use and then you can record to your heart's content. So pretty darn easy. That's it for today. Hope you liked this video. This is my first time back in a while and we'll have another one for you soon. Okay, bye-bye.